Hi, Chili Heads, this is Ludwig. Today, I'll be reviewing a sauce uh, from a fire called Gourmet. So, uh, it's not a new sauce, it's a new version of a very old sauce because that was the original, the very first sauce ever released by Alfire back in 2009. Now, uh, I'm saying that it's a new version of the sauce because, of course, the recipe is changed. Uh, he's not using the same peppers. Uh, some of the ingredients now uh, are, you know, pretty similar to the original one. So flavor-wise, it'll be, it is, uh, you know, very, very much alike, but the heat has gone down quite a bit. Uh, so, uh, in the original one, okay, you would have uh, jalapeno, serrano, habanero, devil's tongue, bujolokia. Uh, in the new one, uh, the ingredients list uh, reads as it goes. So, we have water, we have red jalapeno peppers, uh, we have distilled vinegar, we have tomatillos, uh, garlic, uh, we have sun-dried tomatoes, we have chili powder, Anaheim child powder, uh, we also have uh, cilantro, we have cayenne pepper, we have garlic powder, we have burgundy uh, cooking wine, uh, there's also balsamic uh, vinegar, we have cumin, we have brown sugar, paprika, we have lime uh, juice, we have lemon juice, we have curry and coriander. So as you see, the uh, the strains of peppers are very different. These are all milder ones. Uh, so expect that sauce to be very mild, though very flavorful. Okay. All right. So let's go with the aroma. By the way, it comes with a sifter that I take away because uh, nah, nah. don't limit yourself to just a few drops. Okay. Mmm. So aroma. Okay, I'm definitely picking up the uh, the tomatillos, the tomatoes in there. Mm -hmm. Cumin. Mm. Ah, sweet herbal fragrance. Wow. It smells so good. A very, very solid. I'm, I'm going to give that an 8. It smells so good. And, you know... I'm not getting really the peppers in there. Would have given it a higher note if I would have caught the peppers. But since they're mild, uh, of course, they don't stand out really. But oh, such an awesome, awesome aroma. Love it. Love it. Reminds me of the original one there. Hmm. Okay. So, spoon test now. Of course. So, the, so as you can see, it runs pretty freely, has chunks. Oh, 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 oh. There you go, see it piles up. It's not too liquidy, though it runs pretty freely. Mm. Mm. Mmm. Mmm. I'm getting the sun-dried tomatoes. Especially that there's chunks of them you need to chew on. Mmm. Wow. This tastes just awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm gonna have a little bit more, as I did in the first review, because that's my second one, okay? First one, I just couldn't stop talking. I went on for too long, so I had to redo it. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, man, it tastes so good. Mm. Tomatillos, garlic, cumin, cilantro. I'm getting all that. Mm. Awesome, awesome flavor. This is going to go so great with any meat. Um, uh, on hamburgers, it must be crazy good. Uh, uh, any Italian food, of course, Italian food uses tomatoes, herbs. That's what you find in here. So anything Italian, uh, pizza will be just ooh awesome. Hmm. We'll see that with fish, uh, even with chicken, cacciatore. Hmm. That's gonna be just ah, crazy. So mu multiple uses for this little guy here, uh, and 
not getting much heat. So the usual Joe will be able to finally get a hellfire sauce and without burning his face, get a sense of the flavor this company puts in his products. Oh, it's so great, so great, so good. All right, let's put some on the sandwich. You see there, oh, see it piling up. Oh yeah, it piles up. That. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. See now on a sandwich, we get a little vinegar, a little bit more. Stands out. Because the vinegar actually soaks into the bread. So as you start chewing the bread, it kind of comes back out. Mmm. So it really gets the, the vinegar to stand out a bit, but you still get all those flavors. The tomatillos, dried tomatoes, and of course the herbs, the cumin, the cilantro. Mmm. Mmm. Flavor. Flavor has a name, it's gourmet. That thing is so awesome. Mm. Have, have the bottle with just a single sandwich. Mm. Wow. Awesome, awesome, awesome. The flavor of this thing is just crazy. I'm going to give that a very solid eight and a half. Uh, I would have given it even more, at least a nine, if I would have caught those uh, peppers. The peppers are very mild. They don't really stand out. You're getting more of the herbs. You're getting more of the uh, tomatillos and sun-dried tomatoes, you know, from the sauce. But, wow, the flavor is so awesome. So awesome. The heat, damn. Even if I was a usual Joe, I think I wouldn't uh, give it a high score. <laughs> uh, it's very mild, very mild. Uh, they want to address the people that cannot stand the heat, but will go for flavor. And that's exactly what they're doing here. Uh, the heat, I'm, I'm not going to go uh, maybe one and a half, okay? It's more of a feeling than a burn, you know? I'm feeling heat, but I'm not burning at all. So uh, for uh, for the usual Joe, uh, a very, very, very pleasant sauce. Uh, for us, child has a very pleasant sauce because of course it has an awesome flavor. It's just that the burn is not there. We'll probably need to put something else in that sandwich, maybe some, you know, fresh peppers or something. Uh, but this will definitely bring up the flavor. Uh, it's crazy good, crazy good. The gourmet sauce from El Fire, uh, the version of 2015. Get some and try it, okay? Uh, not for the heat, for the flavor. That's www.hellfirehotsauce.com. And, uh, well, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.